Hello friends. Today in my video we are going to understand demand curve in detail with examples. I had covered following points in my video. 1 meaning of demand curve, 2 shape of demand curve, 3 factors that cause demand curve to shift, 4 categories of demand curve, 5 exceptions to the demand curve. Let us start with meaning of demand curve. The demand curve is a line graph utilized in economics that shows how many units of a good or service will be purchased at various prices. The price is plotted on the vertical y axis while the quantity is plotted on the horizontal x axis. Demand curves are used to determine the relationship between price and quantity and follow the law of demand, which states that the quantity demanded will decrease as the price increases. For example, if movie ticket prices declined to three dollar each, demand for movies would likely rise. And if movie ticket prices start increasing, then its demand will start declining. In addition, demand curves are commonly combined with supply curves to determine the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity of the market. Now, let us understand shape of demand curve. The demand curve is shaped by the law of demand. In general this means that the demand curve is downward sloping which means that as the price of a good decreases consumers will buy more of that good for example price rises demand decreases a car dealership makes the decision to raise the prices of trucks to earn more profits on their sales the law of demand states that fewer people will now buy trucks at this new higher price point Now let us see some of the factors that cause a demand curve to shift. A shift in the demand curve is a unusual circumstance when the price remains the same, but at least one of the other five determinants of demand change. Those determinants are one, income of the buyers. When income falls, the demand for the inferior goods will increase. When income rises, the demand for the inferior goods will decrease. For example a consumer may choose to spend less on cosmetics because their income has dropped. Two consumer trends and tastes. Consumer trends are about consumers, how they behave, what they want and how they view the world around them. Consumer tastes refer to the products and services that consumers consciously choose over others. For example if a celebrity endorses a new product this may increase the demand for a product on the other hand if a new health study comes out saying something is bad for your health this may decrease the demand for the product 3 expectations of future price supply and needs if a buyer expects the price of a good to go down in the future they hold off buying it today so the demand for that good today decreases On the other hand if a buyer expects the price to go up in the future the demand for the good today increases for example if we read that there will be a new tax on vodka starting next week people will want to buy more now before the price increases four the price of related goods these can be substitutes such as beef versus chicken they can also be complementary such as beef and worcestershire sauce For complementary product if the demand for one good printers generates demand for the other ink cartridges for substitute product if the price of fizzy orange falls then less cola is demanded at each price because consumers will switch to the substitute 5 the number of potential buyers potential buyer means a person who claims to be interested or that the person may become interested in buying With more buyers there is more demand with fewer buyers there is less demand for example demand for ott platform are increasing because of more potential customer available in present and in future also there are three categories demand curve first individual demand curve an individual demand curve represents the quantity demanded by the individual household at various prices For example suppose you get a pay raise at your job so you have more income as long as chocolate bars are a normal good this increase in income will cause your demand curve for chocolate bars to shift outward this means that at any given price you'll buy more of the good when income increases second market demand curve 
The market demand curve is the summation of all the individual demand curves in the market for a particular good. For example, when the price is $5, the market demand is 7 chocolate bars. When the price is $3, the market demand is 11 chocolate bars. Third, firm demand curve. Firm's demand curve is a curve showing relationship between price of the product and its quantity demanded in the market. For example, the demand for Pepsi products is the company demand. But it only makes up a percentage of the total industry demand for beverages. Exception to the demand curve There are some exceptions to the law of demand. These include the Giffen goods, Veblen goods, possible price changes and essential goods. A Giffen good is a low-income non-luxury product for which demand increases as the price increases and vice versa. A Giffen good has an upward sloping demand curve which is contrary to the fundamental laws of demand which are based on a downward sloping demand curve. For example, bread or rice is Giffen good. A luxury car is a Veblen good. Salt is essential good. So friends, these are the total points covered in my video for demand curve. Thanks for watching my video.